Buenos días y gracias por invitarme, Evelyn, tu organización a, a esta conferencia tan importante de, de la dignidad y la humillación en tu organización. Good morning and thank you very much, Evelyn, for inviting me to this uh, very important organization about human dignity. Eh, mi nombre es Felipe Ruiz, eh, asesor jurídico de la Fundación ARPE, eh, de forma activista, aunque mi trabajo en una multinacional de energía, de abogado de temas de consumo. My name is Felipe Ruiz. I am a, a legal advisor of the ARPE Foundation. Uh, activist on that organization. Also, my work for which I got a salary is as a lawyer in a big um, uh, energy corporation. Eh, you help me. That's how it's not. Hoy vengo a hablaros de, de un colectivo muy vulnerable, excluido y la única discapacidad que causa risa en nuestra sociedad. I am Uh, I'm here today to talk about a very vulnerable uh, collective, social collective group, um, socially excluded, and it's the only uh, physical disability that uh, even today uh, provoke laughing in our culture. Somos un colectivo muy excluido, muy vulnerable, de baja incidencia, eh, excluido social huérfano políticamente y entre nuestro colectivo hay un alto porcentaje de, de suicidios. We are a highly vulnerable collective, um, excluded of low incident, o sea, there are not many people who share the condition, and uh, orphan in terms of political terms, politicians don't care about us, and we have a, a very high rate of uh, suicide. suicide. Bueno, nuestra condición, nuestra discapacidad, el enanismo, eh, se mercantiliza la denigración y la humillación para hacer negocio. Algunos ejemplos. In our collective, uh, the physical condition, the physical disability, is uh, mercant mercantilized, is, uh, is uh, used to obtain economic profit by making fun of uh, our condition. I will put some examples. Podéis ver en en las redes, en 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 internet hay anuncios de alquiler de de enanos para despedir de soltero, para hacer espectáculos pornográficos, eróticos. In the, in the net, in the social in internet, you can find advertisements uh, to rent a dwarf to uh, bachelor parties for when you are going to get married the day before uh, months uh, go together and for that party uh, birthday, no? sí. birthday parties you can rent and people are offering their body to be rented to do those shows eh, es muy triste que, que esto suceda en, en un país con, que España que lidera los derechos cívicos del, por ejemplo, colectivo LGTBI y del feminismo, pero por el contrario eh, olvida y, y denigra y, y, y excluye a, a personas con nuestra condición. It's very sad that this happened in a country like Spain, which is leading in some, is a leader in some uh, social humanitarian rights like the LGTBI collective movement. Uh, it is especially well protected in Spain or in feminists, it is also uh, good uh, orientated, but forgot, Spain forgets and leave this collective so that these things can happen. Esto lo que genera es que se crea un estigma de la condición de forma despectiva. Se utiliza nuestra discapacidad como forma de migrante o de forma despectiva o, o sin fe valora nuestra condición y algunos ejemplos de titulares periodísticos. This causes that uh, the, the condition which define the condition is being denigrated, is devalued, is degraded and uh, it 
build up or, or, or fire up the, so, the social stigma. Um, there are here some examples in the media, in the social media, of how this denigration is collectively shared. They are all in Spanish, but most of them say uh, they use the word dwarf in a, des in a despective, uh, insulting form. So in order to insult a politician, uh, they call it dwarf, uh, mental dwarf. Uh, there are some words or, or, or sayings in Spain with the word, and the, in the social media are very much used. Estas actividades de inmigrantes de, de alquiler de nanos o de otros espectáculos eh, humillantes, lo que se alquila o lo que se vende es la condición física. Nadie conoce el nombre personal o artístico de, de las personas que lo realizan, sino solo la condición física. In these humiliating, denigrating uh, commercial activities, what you rent is the physical condition. Nobody knows the name of the person who is doing that performance or it does the, the only thing that matters is to rent the physical condition. Eh, y nos sorprende porque eh, hay otros eh, digamos debates sociales de, de que se que se debate entre la libertad individual de tu cuerpo con los derechos de un estado social de derecho de la dignidad humana colectivamente, como puede ser la, la legalización de la prostitución o, o los bienes de alquiler, que sí que están en el debate político y social, pero nuestra realidad está huérfana. They are surprised uh, that uh, in the political debate there are similar um, debates that are on the, on the social debate, like for example prostitution, and it's a, a strong debate whether you have the freedom, the personal freedom to buy your, your body, but there is a lot of ethical discussion going on on that. Uh, but in their case, there is no debate, there is no discussion, they feel orphaned politically. Y estas actividades de migrantes con, con la condición física, con la discapacidad, solo se produce con el enanismo, porque nadie se imagina y nadie consentiría que se alquilaran personas en, con discapacidad intelectual o personas en movilidad reducida o personas con con síndrome de Down para espectáculos eh, tan humillantes como con nosotros. This economic activity of renting the physical condition, the physical disability, it only happens with dwarfism or with achondroplasia. No one can imagine today to rent a condition like being uh, not able to see or having a, a any other physical disability or any mental disability is impossible to imagine that someone will sell that make fun only the exception of people with a chondroplasia con esta realidad ya ambos más de 25 años en la fundación alpe y entonces teníamos que hacer algo para cambiar la la realidad y hacer alguna normativa o hacer alguna iniciativa para que se prohibieran espectáculos de migrantes. This is the reality we have been fighting in the last 25 years in the Alpe Foundation, and we were convinced that we have to do something to change the law in order to make to, to make imp that too difficult these things to happen. Como en España había ningún ningún partido político de los grandes partidos eh, hizo una prioridad a acabar con estos espectáculos. Pues desde la Fundación Alpe llevamos la, la realidad a la Unión Europea y a las Naciones Unidas. Because no no one of the big political parties in Spain really care about the uh, what they were asking for, the attention they were asking for. They decided to took the issue to the European Union and to the United Nations. En el 2019 se llevó uh, un informe de la Fundación Alpe al Comité de Derechos Humanos de las Naciones Unidas de la Convención Internacional de los Derechos de Personas con Discapacidad. In 2019, they uh, they sent a report to the uh, Human Rights uh, Committee of United, United Nations, uh, specialized in the rights of people with disabilities. 
eh, gracias a, al informe de las Naciones Unidas que requirió España que estas actividades que denunciamos iban en contra de la dignidad humana y los derechos humanos de, el, de las personas con discapacidad y completamente de las personas con organismo. Thanks to this initiative by Alpe, um, Unation, United Nations uh, sent a, a report to Spain, the Spanish government, saying that these uh, activities that the Alpe Foundation was denouncing attempted the dignity, the dignity, the dignity, the dignity and the fundamental rights of the people with achondroplasia and other forms of dwarfism. And in 2022, Eh, presentamos una iniciativa eh, legislativa y se aprobó en el 2023 que se prohibió los espectáculos toreros donde se denigraban a las personas con el En 2022, eh, Alpe Foundation eh, promoted a legal initiative in the Spanish Parliament that ended eh, eh, forbidden the, the comic shows the skull bullfighting comic fire fire fireman bullfighting this is a crazy thing it only happened I think in Spain where where uh, in the you know in Spain the bullfighting is a very traditional in all village there is a bullfighting arena and in the national festivities that every year celebrate in summer they usually organize bullfighting for small bullfighting, well, in many in, in many uh, villages, they also hire comic and funny shows of any of any kind. And one of these got quite popular was uh, um, renting or, or, or paying a company of dwarfs, which were dressed up with uh, funny clothes like um, firemen, I don't know why, or or clowns or whatever. And they went to the arena and fight with small cows, which are small cows like this. And that was a funny thing to show how uh, they were rolled up and so on. So that was very denigrating and it was quite extended in Spain. And they made possible legally to, forb to forbid those, those shows in particular. Era muy importante acabar con los espectáculos porque eh, eran diseñados por amados para los niños y los padres los llevaban y, y, y era como social o como, como normal reírse de nuestra condición del enanismo y lo veían como normal. It was very important to end with those shows because those shows were designed for kids, for children. And parents took children uh, for to, to, to make to have a, a good time to, to have a, a, a to laugh and everything and um, that was key to contribute to the social stigma and denigration of the condition. Entonces, al acabar los espectáculos, eh, los niños y adultos se rían de, de nosotros por la calle, independientemente de nuestra mm -hmm. profesión o de nuestra mm -hmm. situación social. Los niños no querían salir de casa, nos generaba un estigma muy grande y muy potente. So when those shows came to a village, after afterwards, if in that village or nearby, a person with dwarfings lived, this person, he say we didn't want to go out to the street uh, because people will laugh of us and children were uh, wanted to hide in their homes. A día de hoy todavía en la calle nos graban, nos humillan, eh, no tenemos libertad ni autonomía para hacer una vida normal como cualquier otra persona. Today, in everyday life, they are being recorded by people on the street. I experience that all the time with Felipe. They uh, record uh, people with dwarf themes, they point them up, they laugh. So, uh, making it very difficult to have a regular life. It's very important to have a discourse of denuncia and of denuncia and incentive the administrations to change the reality. But it's also very important to transform that denuncia in laws and in politics. It's very important to have a strong discourse uh, denouncing 
these, uh, these situations. Uh, but it's also very important to change the laws so that by law things uh, are different. Y estamos muy contentos de haber llevado esta realidad a las Naciones Unidas, a las instituciones europeas, al Congreso español, a todas las comunidades autónomas. We are very proud of having uh, taken this uh, reality to the United Nations, to the European Union, to the Spanish Parliament and to many regional parliaments of the regional governments in Spain. Eh, hemos conseguido super, eh, prohibir los espectáculos taurinos, pero el resto de actividades de migrantes y humillantes to todavía no. We have been successful in forbidden by law the bullfighting, the, the, the bullfighting shows, but unfortunately we have not been able yet to forbid the other shows, like renting a, a person with war for for a bachelor party or so. Those are still going on. Todas las personas con enanismo que se dedican a estos espectáculos de inmigrantes son personas eh, inmigrantes que vienen de países en unas condiciones socioeconómicas muy degradantes y muy vulnerables. All people uh, with dwarf things that uh, work in these activities that they uh, try to make a living of these activities, all of them are immigrants coming from countries with a, a, a less level of economic development than Spain. Los que definen estos espectáculos dicen que la dignidad es la autonomía para ejercer tu actividad que quieras, pero nosotros defendemos que, que la dignidad es social, es, es colectiva, y que, y que hay una serie de, de principios inalienables que, que, que definen la, la condición de un ser humano. Here is the key point of my speech. Uh, the people who, uh, who want to, to def who defends the, this kind of shows uh, argue that dignity comes from individual liberty so they have the, the free freedom individual freedom they have the freedom to do whatever they want and that is dignity but they argue that dignity doesn't come only or strictly from individual freedom but is a collective uh, concept and should be understood desde Fundación Alpe, eh, a, eh, a la par de denunciar y, y que priva esos espectáculos, hemos puesto un, en, en marcha un programa con, con el Estado y con Fundación 11 para que estas personas from the Alpe Foundation, uh, a part of uh, uh, lobbying to forbidden these kind of shows, they have promoted an uh, employment program developed by, together by the Ministry and uh, the ONCE the Foundation, which is a very big non-profit organization uh, that work with, with vulnerable collectives, to help the people who work in this kind of activities to uh, change their living, their make of the, the way of living to a, a non-humiliating uh, employee. But we have many problems because this people, who are mostly Latin Americans, do not want to go out of these spectacles because they generate an important quantity of economic and they do not feel but they are facing huge problems to do that because the people who work in these kind of shows who are mostly coming from Latin American countries they earn a lot of money doing this and they don't feel them themselves uh, especially vulnerable or, or humiliated uh, so they are experiencing huge problems to try to make that progression to another different uh, way of living. For example, in Colombia, the people with enanism are the collective social 
victims of traffic illegal drugs. For example, in Colombia, the people with dwarfins are the social collective that has the highest rate of victimhood for illegal organ traffic. Trafficking. Trafficking. Vale. En otros países, por ejemplo, en Francia, hace más de 20, no, de 30 años, que se prohibieron estas eh, actividades de migrantes para personas con ánimo como el lanzamiento de arena. In other countries, like for example France, more than 30 years ago, they forbid by law denigrants and humiliating activities like the one that showed that the throwing, the throwing of a dwarf, the dwarf throwing, they were forbidden in 30 years ago in France. Y el Comité de Derechos Civiles y Políticos de las Naciones Unidas resolvió que la dignidad humana y el orden público está por encima de la autonomía individual. In that case, the, uh, the Human Rights Committee uh, for, for Social, for Disabilities, Physical Disabilities, um, sentence that the human dignity is above any commercial. No, de la, de, por de la okay, the, the human dignity is above the, any uh, personal autonomy. Human dignity prevails above uh, human uh, personal individual freedom or autonomy. También desde Fundación Alpe hemos creado una red iberoamericana de asesoramiento a, las, a los países latinoamericanos y una red europea. In the, the Alpe Foundation has also promoted the creation of a, a solidarity uh, and help, uh, support network of uh, organization of people with dwarfings in Latin America, in Latin America and in Europe. Por ejemplo, en México hay eh, bares donde se alquilan personas con elanismo para que la gente se pueda meter en droga, farlopa, eh, las rayas en la calma de las personas. Por ejemplo, en México es posible rent a person with dwarf fish, uh, calvo, no? sí. without, without hair, bold, 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 so that uh, people can sniff cocaine on their heads. Y esta es la realidad con que conviven cada día en, en los países con peor situación económica. Y... And this is the reality that people with dwarf fish encounter in countries with a, a less Economical and legal development than uh, Europe. We are advising them uh, legally, and for example, in Colombia, they promoted a law. They promoted uh, the the law for the rights of people with dwarfs in Colombia. Bueno, me gustaría bueno, que haya debate y que haya intercambio de, de ideas y, y, y me gusta mucho que, que en la organización de Evelyn pues, eh, hayan decidido debatir sobre nuestra realidad. So I would like very much that there is now a debate and interchange of ideas and I, am, I like it very much that from uh, Evelyn's organization uh, they decided to, to debate about the uh, situation. Vale. Eh, también queremos también resaltar que hay que también se ha transformado y hay una otra imagen de normalización y de visibilidad digna y decente de las personas con el mismo como los ejemplos que, que tenía. Uh, I want also to emphasize that the other side of what I have just explained is that uh, we have also achieved uh, the progress of normalization of the uh, collective uh, of people with dwarf fins, and there are many examples in which people are being, well, being included, and being, uh, there is some social progress in that direction too. And this is uh, some of the examples. Well, Peter Dinkin, who is an actor who has normalized and dignified our condition. The, the, the one on the top of the left is very famous actor. Peter Dinklage, who has promoted very much the normalization and dignification of the condition uh, as an actor. 
Es una chica que corrió la media maratón de Boston. The, the one to the right up is a girl who ran a half marathon in Boston. Es Álvaro, un chico que, que nació cuando nació la fundación y ahora es eh, un deportista paralímpico de alto nivel. Álvaro, down on the right, is a, is a man who was born when, when the Alto Organization Foundation was born and now is, uh, 20 years later, is uh, a high, high, um, high successful uh, athlete in the Paralympic uh, competition. Y José María Araña es un catedrático y ha jubilado y, y un referente. And José María Araña is a full professor in Catalonia, now retired and is a ideological referent for the collective. Y es muy importante vuestro trabajo desde la producción científica de la psicología social porque nos da muchos argumentos y para poder después trasladarlo a, a las administraciones públicas. It's very important the work uh, we do uh, from social psychology academically because it provides arguments that they can use to translate to the public uh, authorities. El trabajo de Saulo de la de la tesis nos sirvió para poder argumentar y fundamentar y llevar nuestra unidad a todos los colegios y institutos y universidades de este país. Yeah. The work I did uh, uh, in my dissertation, doctoral dissertation was useful to go with it to the public administration or to the schools and uh, showing um, the, the reality they face. Well, nuestra realidad is very complicated and very, very, very preocupante because the gente joven se aísla, no quiere salir de casa, y y lo que hago yo un un suicidio indirecto. Sí, que el suicidio indirecto porque no se cuida. But the reality they are facing is very complex. Uh, people with dwarfies do not want to go out to the street. They don't want to confront the street. They don't are motivated to promote socially. And he calls that uh, an indirect suicide. Y bueno, eh, tenéis mi, mi contacto y, y a vuestra disposición y encantado de colaborar con You all have uh, his contact and uh, he would be he's, would be very happy to collaborate or to answer any questions or anything that uh, people who are watching him uh, want. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to to ask. I, I just want to add that if you go to Alpe a Control Class Foundation, it's fundacionalpe.org, um, yes, we can write it. It's in English, so you can have a look at it after. Nuestra página de la fundación está todo en inglés, o sea que, so don't be shy. I'm just to say that was a very powerful presentation, it was magnificent. Okay, thank you. It was really great and um, very insightful view on, on some area that we don't know. I have actually a couple of questions. <clears throat> as a lawyer, I, uh, I just want to first ask you as a lawyer, uh, do you know how many EU countries, for example, that uh, defines uh, dwarfism as, as uh, disability uh, legally? <laughs> Muchas gracias. Que tiene un par de preguntas legales. Sí. La primera es que si sabes cuántos países de la Unión Europea definen el enanismo como una discapacidad legalmente. A todos, sí. Todos. Sí. All the all the countries in the EU, in the European Union, define dwarfism as a physical disability. 
Okay, then then why it is so difficult to set specific laws, whether within on the EU that um, I mean EU or even the world uh, level or within Spain to and because as you said before for the other like blindness and 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 things like this they cannot anymore now use them in the way that they use swap business. So why we cannot, if it is legally defined as disability, why it cannot be you guys there, as, as a, you as a lawyer, <coughs> uh, uh, put tools to also restrict that? con otras, como has dicho tú, con otras eh, discapacidades, como la carrera o la sociedad. ¿Por, ¿Por qué no se puede? No es un tema legal, sino es un tema político y, y social. It's not a legal issue, it's a political and social issue. Porque los que actúan con estos espectáculos defienden que es la libertad individual y que ellos pueden, y que no, no es su condición que because the people who advocate for being able to do this kind of shows argue that is their individual liberty, freedom, which is in play, and their uh, artistic uh, capacities, uh, what we are talking about, uh, which he say is false. No. No es legal porque vulnera la, la dignidad humana, pero tenemos que acreditar, y eso trabajo llevamos 11 años, acreditar que estos espectáculos vulneran la dignidad humana. Ah, sorry, I, 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 I didn't play my translate, but I'd say then it's a legal issue, no? Because if they are advocating for, for personal freedom, they are using legal argument. Then I say, Felipe, then Felipe is a legal issue, but he said no, because... Porque vulnera la dignidad humana y la, y la Convención Internacional sobre las Personas con Discapacidad. Pero tenemos que acreditar eso. Ok. It's not a legal issue because this shows. Uh, bull, uh, uh, how I mean, we must, uh, I think, if I got it right, it proves, they must prove that this is actually uh, vulnerating the. Yeah, exactly. What I was saying. This, uh -huh. this action are uh, vulnerable or, or attack. The, the dignity and human rights, but they have to prove it, they have to show it. Con el resto de discapacidades hay un sentimiento de solidaridad o de respeto, pero como dije al principio, la nuestra es todo lo contrario. With the rest of uh, physical and other, um, other kind of disabilities, there is a sense of sensibility, of empathy, socially, which is not the case for this particular mm -hmm. condition. Y lo que está en juego es el modelo de sociedad en el que queremos vivir o convivir. And at the end of the day, what we are talking about is about the model of society in which we want to live or, or, or live together. Okay, so if I may ask, since you are talking about the, the social uh, uh, sense towards this, do you think personally that maybe this the, the societies, not only your society, but the societies, feel that were present as normal people, just maybe in different skill, but is, is, is not like the blindness where you, you know that there is a disability or like an handicap, for example, but, but that what is just like for them, normal people. Do, do you think that this can play a role there, if you understand what, what, what can, I mean. <coughs> can you explain a little bit more? I, 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 I'm not able to translate. I don't know if anyone here can... can you explain? Lo que yo he entendido es que tal vez la, la, el, estado, o sea, el problema de la cuestión es que la ceguera, por ejemplo, es percibida como, una, como un hándicap, como un, algo, o sea, una discapacidad, sí. y en cambio el enanismo es, es, es no, no es percibido como, una, como un hándicap. ¿Tú también lo has entendido así? Sí. ¿Sí? Yeah. Okay. Es que claro, eso tiene sentido porque como siempre se ha utilizado nuestra condición como algo gracioso y como algo divertido, pues entonces nunca se ha tenido socialmente en cuenta que el anismo es una discapacidad. 
Yeah, he said that makes sense what you say because because there is a tradition of making fun of people with dwarf things or, or associating dwarf things to, to laughing activities or to comedian activities. It is it is logical that there is this collective idea that dwarf things is not a problem, it's not a it's not an issue. So how we reach out to this other community, whether the local communities like the Spanish people opening this kind of shows or any other way of, of, of uh, this behavior, not good behavior, or even this uh, people with migrants background or, or outside uh, with to investment that are also working in this uh, in these shows. So what is your outreach activities? Do you try to make a community, discuss with them, uh, making workshops, things like this? Como cómo llegáis a las personas que trabajan en estos en estas eh, actividades, cómo os ponéis en contacto de él, con ellos, cómo trabajáis con ellos, habéis hecho por ejemplo talleres o, o algún tipo de actividad en ese sentido. Eh, es muy difícil, ellos nos amenazan y, y pero ellos no quieren colaborar con nosotros y llegamos a través de terceros, de intermediarios, de administraciones o de entidades que eh, que se dedican a, a las personas con, por ejemplo cuando se prohíbe un espectáculo la administración ya se pone en contacto con ellos y ellos con nosotros pero no, a través de intermediarios y también lo hacen sí sí yes he says very difficult to reach with them because these people are hostile against the work the Alpe Foundation is doing because they perceive it as a threat for their money for their way of living so it's not it's not easy at all to reach them. So they do it always through intermediate organizations. So for example, it was last year there is a program as he explained there is a program developed by uh, Onse Foundation, which is a huge organization that works for people with disabilities, uh, empowered by the Alpe Foundation. But the the Onse Foundation does it uh, in order to try to capacitate or to form, to, to build in other skills, people who work on that. Yeah, yeah. sorry, he said that they, they receive uh, threats. Yeah, they are being threatened. Threatened, they are being threatened by some of the people who, who are working. Um, the Alpe Foundation receives threats. So then, 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 how do you see this? Is my last question. I took too much. So then, how do you see this can be done? Is it like a top bottom approach or bottom top? Top bottom means that the politicians should. I mean, you reach out to the politicians, set the laws that forces everyone to follow specific things, or it should come from the from the people themselves in this in this community and for the politicians. So how you personally see it? This should become top bottom or bottom top. Entonces, ¿cómo, la última pregunta, porque aquí estamos mucho, que ¿cómo ves tú que esto se puede hacer? O sea, puede ser desde arriba abajo que los políticos, las, las instituciones políticas ayuden en esto, pero también puede ser, que es una cosa que había dicho antes, me olvidé traducir, desde abajo, creando comunidad, trabajando con la comunidad desde abajo. ¿Cómo, cómo personalmente, tú qué crees? No, la única solución es que se prohíba y que sea la administración la que, la que cuando vea un espectáculo, por ejemplo, en la calle, pues... Pues denuncia. Y ahora estamos con una, eh, con una nueva vía que tiene que ver mucho con la humillación y la organización, que es atacándolo por delitos de odio. He thinks the only way is from, from, a, from top down by, by, by law, forbidding. By forbidding by law this kind of show, so that when someone sees that on the street can call police and there is a law so that the police can act. That's his, he says that is his view the only way and there is also now a, a way a legal way which is very important i think is related to the hate hate crimes which are being more and more legally developed and that opens a, a, a road a legal road to, to change things thank you very much thank you very very much it was very very uh, informative and great to, to know you thank you Muchísimas gracias, que ha sido muy informativo y es un placer conocerte.
Este señor también era abogado, por eso sus preguntas eran tan. Okay, so uh, Brian, if you're listening to us, yeah, you can unmute yourself. Yeah, thank um, you. I'm listening. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, do you have questions? Am I, uh, can, I, can you hear me well? Yes. yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to um, just give my uh, thoughts about this, um, and I, my first thing was to plead to Craig, who comes from the same country and culture as me, to ask him what his thoughts of this are. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a very new area, and, and I have really given little thought to it, you know, it's because it, in a small country it's so, doesn't happen much sort of thing, and I'm not from a big country, I'm from a small country, and more things happen, more diverse things happen in smaller countries and uh, bigger countries, and so, so I'm, Coming from a, 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 a thin sort of cultural um, understanding of this, and and I um, so I, I, I would quite like to uh, for Craig to have, uh, if he's possibly able to to give his perspective on this from a cultural point of view, it would be certainly helpful for me. Um, uh, I. Um, I don't want to, I, 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 I shouldn't say too much because I may, I didn't quite hear everything and I, I may offend if I say the wrong thing, but I, I felt that the, the cultural side of a lot of this was very um, pertinent. The, the, the relationship between, you know, within the culture that you're working in, and I, I don't know that for sure. But it's just my, my, my view on the trying to, to match it up with mine. I did raise that question with the uh, in my mind about the um, the nature of disability and how the Olympics and others deal with it. I, I just don't know that side of it at all, and so I'm I'm at loss to try and. Um, uh, you know, sort of work that out, but I will work it out, and I will take all the information you've you've given us today, and and think about it a lot more. One of the things that um, came to my mind was that in, in, in Evelyn and and the whole Human Dignity Group is has has um, implanted in my mind is the appreciation of diversity. And, and, and when globally um, appreciating diversity is something that I've really latched onto with this group and, and that I sort of get the feeling that in time uh, the appreciation of diversity is sort of an antidote to some of these um, strange human behaviours that that don't respect diversity and uh, so that came to my mind so I don't know if that helps but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it with you and, and maybe Craig could answer or on my behalf a little bit okay. I'm going to translate to Felipe help me please oh, can I say something in between you know yeah. uh, we yeah. have only five minutes left yes. and we would yes. we would like to make a group photo I what, what country is he from? Uh, New Zealand. Can, like, like him. Que in Nueva Zelanda. No, no hay eso, no hay esto. Que cree que, no. que si puede ser porque es un país eh, pequeño, ¿no? Que puede ser porque sea un país pequeño, pero que él que cree que esto que has contado en, en Nueva Zelanda no hay. Que luego, entonces luego, ese es el primer punto. El segundo punto, o sea, primero es que, le, que, que, le ha, que tiene que pensar, que le, que le ha dado un montón de pensamiento, que si crees que tiene que, que estar relacionado con que, con que en un país pequeño estas cosas que él cree que no pasan, que, 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 que en un país es más grande, etc. Luego ha dicho que cree que el tema cultural es fundamental, 
que, que aquí, que cree que lo que de lo que ha dicho hay un aspecto cultural clave, que, no, que, en otras, que depende mucho de la cultura en la que uno viva. Y el último es que, que le ha venido el pensamiento de que la, para la dignidad, en el grupo este de, de, de dignidad, una de las claves de la dignidad es la diversidad. Y que claro, que el colectivo de personas con enanismo aporta esa diversidad y por ahí puede haber una vía hacia la contribución a la dignidad. Pero dice que, bueno, que son pensamientos así que le han venido a la mente y que los... Sí, eh, que yo creo que sí que puede haber espectáculos en Nueva Zelanda, pero hasta que no, por ejemplo, la Fundación Arte se puso en marcha, la mayoría de la gente no sabía que esto se sucedía. Entonces, no, que él desconozca no significa que no exista. Y también Nueva Zelanda puede haber poca inmigración, entonces también puede ser tener una causa. Pero sí que creo que lo del lanzamiento de pues sí que había leído que, que también había un sitio en Nueva Zelanda. Yeah. yeah, Felipe dice que piensa que probablemente hay estas cosas ocurriendo también en Nueva Zelanda. He said that in Spain, for example, many of these things were, were not known by the public because uh, there was no a, 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 an organization denouncing it. So there is, there is probably uh, some of these uh, people with dwarfies are facing similar, not the same, but similar things in New Zealand, uh, but maybe it's, it's not well known. Uh, and he thinks that he, he thinks he read sometime that the the threat the throwing of a dwarf throwing of a dwarf the throwing in the bar this this shows that they did in some bars of throwing a dwarf that what it was going on in New Zealand. Is this correct? It's correct. The eleven of the last week. We have three minutes left. And we need some uh, somebody to go to the toilet, perhaps. So, and uh, Darcy should start at uh, at eleven, which is in three minutes. Well, Felipe, he also said that maybe also uh, in New Zealand there is less immigration. And a lot of or some of these problems, especially with people working on that, uh, is related to people coming from low-income countries to make a living in Spain, and they find that way to make money. And maybe if there is less immigration, uh, there is less of this problem. Thank you so much. I think we can say.